All right. So in this video, really quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to um, access a CDP without a save file. Uh, if your save file gets corrupt or you just didn't download one or don't know how to use one, this is probably a pretty nice tutorial for you. Um, and it's just another way to learn, I guess. So the first, um, there's a couple of different methods. The first one here is by reading the RAM. So I only know how to do this in this emulator. But as you can see, I'm locked out. So in here, I can type in whatever. And then I can go into my tools, into my memory. Go to this address, and here I see uh, C151BW. So, C151BW, uh, and it works. This here, I'll just do purple. Entered that in wrong, but uh, you get the gist. Um, just gonna see if I can reset this here without making a save file. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't even know. Okay, uh, the second way is by using this tool right here. Um, it actually is quite useful. So, I'll just highlight this. Uh, right here, I uh, I have this MAC address for my emulated DS. Um, this works with uh, this emulator because it has the logs and the console. Uh, so you can see what's going on. So this is this. I can copy this. So this is the MAC address. It will say uh, my, uh, MAC address or Wi-Fi MAC address usually. You can go into a oh, wrong one. You can go in here, type it in. I'm just gonna go in here real quick. So this is zero 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 nine zero nine BF three E zero one one zero. And then for store number and store management, that actually doesn't matter. All I really need is the MAC address. And it says that it'll give me this. It is the same one as last time, just because I reset the ROM. And whenever you reset ROM on uh, this emulator, it uh, doesn't change the MAC address. So, yeah, it works. If I change this up, it will obviously change quite a bit, you can see. But uh, for simplicity's sake, I'll just keep it like this. So using that tool, we can input this. So here it is, C151. BW. And each um, uh, DS will always have a uh, different MAC address. It won't be the same. There will, no, there will never be two same MAC addresses. And you can fill this in. For example, if you're using an emulator like Melon and it doesn't show RAM or um, it does show Wi-Fi, but it doesn't show the MAC address, you can also open the ROM um, well, yeah, I guess. If you don't know your MAC address, an easy way to figure that out is actually by opening another ROM. So, I have Mario Kart. And Mario Kart has CFW, or, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, FWC, or WFC. Man, I'm getting mixed up. And if we go into the settings... Uh, and into options, you can see the system information, and there is my MAC address. It will say, so you can copy this down, put it into the tool here. So this is 1656, 
A three A three one. F nine. Um, caps do count, so um, capitalization it does matter. So yeah, I believe this matches up. You can place the offering, and it gives us this. If we open our ECDP ROM, or I guess I'm not already in here. Okay. Yeah, if I open this and get through this, so you can see I'm locked out. Can go in here, zero, 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 zero. So, TK1. RS1 and it will work um yeah that's that's like another easy way um if you don't know your MAC address in any situation it will be very very hard to get this but chances are you will have a save, or you could get a save. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next one.